Hello guys, my name is Tiana K. Blyden and I'm so excited to be able to talk to you and to share what it is that I do. Um, my website is tianakblyden.com and we're actually going to be doing something different. Something is forthcoming and you're the first to know about it. It's called Proverbs 31 Boss, the Proverbs 31 Boss Academy. So the reason why I started this business is because I know I look young. I know I look like I haven't been through a lot in life, but I have four children. They're all under the age of 10 and three of them are under the age of four. I also have a husband who I've been married to for six years. It's been an amazing journey, but like most women, I have a vision for my life. I have things that I want to do outside of being a mom and wife. And when I first started out with this, when I first started telling people that I wanted to do all of these things with my life beyond having children and being a wife, they used to tell me, you have to wait until your children get older. So how many of you have heard that you have to wait until your children grow up to live your dreams? And I don't believe, I know that I know that I know right now that God did not place your vision and your goals on the inside of you for you to wait till everybody else grows up and then do what you want to do later. So I started studying the Proverbs 31 woman, a virtuous woman, the woman that everybody talks about, the woman that everybody says is the ultimate woman in the Bible. And what I found is that it is possible for you to live your dreams, be an amazing wife and a great mom, but you have to do it God's way. So what I do is I work with women to teach them how to become a Proverbs 31 boss. And one of the key mistakes that women make is that we build our businesses and then raise our family around it. So you build your family around your business when in essence what you should be doing is ministering at home first and then giving the rest of your gifts to the world. So you build your business around your family and not your family around your business. Every woman wants financial freedom to be successful and to live the good life. Financial freedom is the truest form of freedom and it only comes if you start believing in yourself. This is the core message of Miss Corporate America Ambassador 2015 and Uncuffed Living Expert Capri Smith. Capri Smith is a proven business mentor, motivational speaker and life coach. She will skillfully teach you how to uncuff your life by using your business and management experience to establish your own organization. This award-winning business and life coach has helped hundreds of women set up their own businesses over the years and will help you start your business venture today and prove your life skills to the world. It's time to face your fears and overcome in order for you to secure an amazing future ahead. To uncuff your life today, visit her website at www.caprismith.com. And welcome back to Women Uncuffed. This is Capri Smith and I am here with the Blydens. We're going to learn so much about being in love, being married, doing it together, and really understanding why we shouldn't sacrifice so much. Our men, they are important, guys. Nice. So listen up. Now, Tiana, you are such an, an acclaimed woman in, the, in business. Yeah. But I'm noticing as we're in going into 2017 that you're bringing your man in here. Tell me more about that. Well, um, a lot of people were looking at my business from the outside and seeing all the success and writing books and authoring all this stuff. But what they didn't know was that my house was a mess. I wasn't taking care of my husband. I wasn't being a great mother. My kids used to cry every time I left out the door, but I was so busy being amazing to the world that I left my family behind. And God kind of like set me down for about a year or two. And he basically said, you know, you're going to be stay right at this point. You're not going to achieve any more success if you don't learn how to minister at home first and then minister to people in the world. And so I took a step back and my husband and I, one thing about us, we both share, we both want to be successful, we both want to change the world. And what better way to do that than to include him in your business? And it's been amazing. I mean, I feel like he has been the missing component this entire time. 
I love it. Including him. That is so big. Because a lot of single women even, they're wondering why their mate won't show up or hasn't shown up yet. And maybe it's because they don't have time for him. Right. So, David, how did the shift feel? Well, the shift definitely felt better once I started seeing the change in her. I started seeing that it was she was trying. She was focusing on home. She was focusing on the kids. She, you know, it. guys are a little built a little different than women as far as how we express ourselves. And, you know, sometimes if a guy opens his mouth to express anything, you know, to his wife or to his spouse, you know, it's because it's, it's already been weighing on him for a while. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it's definitely good to see, you know, it was great to see the shift when she started you know, paying attention to the things that I was talking about. And, you know, it, it really brought us closer together. Mm -hmm. I love that. You guys are so cute. I love it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome to Uncuffed Radio with Caprice Smith. Join in weekly as this life and business coach, author, and mentor shares practical tools that will help you change your thinking and change your life. In her latest novel, Uncuffed Behind My Smile, Caprice tells her own gripping story of survival and triumph. Those life experiences led this 20-year police detective to start her own organization to combat domestic violence and teach families about their inner power. Her unique engagement style helps all, especially women, to find their voices as they discover and pursue their purpose. Hi, this is Tiana Blyden, and this is my chocolate handsome husband. Hi, how you doing? I'm David Blyden. And we are here to talk to you about what it is that we do together, how we have merged our visions to really go forth and take everything that God has promised us in these years to come. So you want to talk a little bit about how we work together to, to get this, this ball rolling? I'm sure. As everyone knows, when you have two individuals coming together, you have two separate dreams, two separate goals, mm -hmm. you know, uh, two separate life paths. Right. And, you know, it's, it's, it comes together through marriage. Through marriage, we have, we have the vision. Through marriage, we have the responsibility. Through marriage, we have kids. Through marriage, we have our whole lives. So about four years ago, David and I got together and we did visualization and we looked at how we wanted our, how we wanted to live. What did, what did we want our healthy lifestyle to be like? How do we want to raise our children and what kind of goals we wanted to accomplish? The interesting thing is that we did them separately, but the visions matched because we were finally beginning to be on one accord. And as we talked about before, this is a process. It takes a little while, but if you're committed to the process, then you can begin to realize things in your life the same way that David and I have. And right now we are doing, we continue to do visualization and we're doing vision boards together and we're just doing some amazing things. And we want the same for you. Right now we're having a Married with Vision teleclass. And this is very important for couples, all right? So if you're engaged, if you're married, no matter if you're a newlyweds, no matter if you've been married for 10 years, 20 years, it was very important because we need to start working together as married couples. And one thing that we need to do while we're working together is effective communication. There's different keys and different steps that we need to do when we're effectively working together as a couple. And it not only strengthen, strengthens our relationship as far as with our marriage, as far as intimacy, as far as how we raise our kids, you know, just overall the health, the healthiness of the household. You know, it's very important to do. Caprice Smith with Women Uncuffed. I am the Uncuffed Living Expert, and I'm able to bring you amazing episodes week after week, month after month, for one of two reasons. The second being I have amazing sponsors. We're standing at Puff and Quill Smokery. It is the hottest upscale cigar lounge in the DMV and we are so appreciative that they've opened their doors and allowed us to come in. Thank you Puff and Quill family. 
I invite you to visit them at puffandquill.com and look forward to many more amazing networking opportunities or just chances to come connect, unwind, and engage. The anticipated Miss and Mrs. Corporate America pageant is right around the corner and you can be part of the 10th annual competition that empowers professional women. We invite Miss, Mrs., and teen contestants to apply for this opportunity to build lifelong friendships participate in speaking and networking opportunities, receive national exposure and visibility for your business, and promote your own personal community platform. This is the chance to be seen and heard by thousands of key business leaders and influencers. To become a contestant of the 2017 Miss and Mrs. Corporate America pageant, contact us at 855-622-2769 or email us at info at mscorporateamerica.com. Deadline to apply is January 1st. We'll see you March 2nd through the 4th in Orlando, Florida not your family around your business. So I really want to help you to really figure out where it is that you can fit working your business into your life. Where you can so you can be more fulfilled so that you can be a better mom, a better wife, a better just person, all around person because you're living your dreams. And guess what? The great thing is that when you start living your dreams, you give your husband, you give your family members and your children permission to do the same. So I'm excited about everything that I'm doing. I'm excited to help you become a Proverbs 31 boss. And I am ready to, to invite you to talk to my husband a little bit more about how we partner. Together, to David and I teach engaged and married couples how to merge their visions. Because coming together when you get married is like, merging a construction plan with a, a construction business plan with a beauty business plan it just doesn't work and you have to learn how to come together in january we are going to be having at the beginning of the year a married with vision teleclass where you'll be able to learn from us as well as three to four other couples as they talk about what it is that they did to merge their visions together and become about sincerity not just being authentic and keeping things real, but being sincere. Imagine if you walked into a department store and while you were there, the cashier or the helper followed you around as if you were going to shoplift something. That wouldn't give you a great feeling. That's not really being sincere. But what if you showed up and someone took notice of your earrings and your makeup and how you carried yourself and you were complimented on those things and then they offered suggestions on how you could be better or they gave you ideas of what you should invest in based on what you look like. That's what it means to be a little more sincere. But in order to be sincere, you have to take a real assessment of your client. What are their needs? Sometimes as entrepreneurs, we want to share just because we think we have a great idea. And that's cool. That's a good start. But you want to tune into what your customers' needs are. And then you want to really work your butt off to meet those needs. That's going to keep on coming back to hug you. sometimes. And the way to hug your clients is to give them the best version of you. So until next time, tune in. Remember, if you're not leaving a cup, you're just not living. And guess what? Your clients will. I am your go-to gal for the two things that most women like to shy away from, sex and money. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've, been, I've been dubbed the sex and money gal like uh, among like my it. friends. <laughs> and it's, um, it's an interesting title. It's certainly not one that I thought I would mm -hmm. wear. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I look at what my husband and I have been through, what I have been through personally, um, it really is a message that I have to share of the things that I have walked through in my own life mm -hmm. and how I can take that message that the Lord has given me and just share that with, um, with your audience and, wow. and with women in the church and really help them to live free from their past. That is so awesome. And you've thrown some money, sex, lies, cheating, all that stuff in there in one, in one versus in the church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I love it. But I love that you are touching on some topics that really no one else is. Yes. So what can our, and we're going to talk about the book in depth in a minute, but what drove you to these two untouchable things? It's t they're taboo. You're not supposed to talk about them. They are, Caprice. They really are taboo. And... When I looked around the climate in the church, there's very few places to get good, solid information about sex and money. 
sex more so than money, that you definitely have some big name players and ministries that, that do talk about stewardship. But when it comes to biblical sexuality, it's really hard to find solid answers that are biblically based. It's hard to find truth. And I have been to conferences and I have seen women ask anonymous heartbreaking questions and they ask them anonymously because they don't know where to turn for answers to very basic questions. And unfortunately, if you just do an internet search, um, you're going to get answers, but they're not going to be really good answers. They're not going to be healthy answers. And our youth are internet searching answers. Mm -hmm. And the church isn't speaking loud enough. The world is screaming about sex, but the church isn't speaking loud Every woman wants financial freedom to be successful and to live the good life. Financial freedom is the truest form of freedom, and it only comes if you start believing in yourself. This is the core message of Miss Corporate America Ambassador 2015 and Uncuffed Living Expert Capri Smith. Capri Smith is a proven business mentor, motivational speaker, and life coach. She will skillfully teach you how to uncuff your life by using your business and management experience to establish your own organization. This award-winning business and life coach has helped hundreds of women set up their own businesses over the years and will help you start your business venture today and prove your life skills to the world. It's time to face your fears and overcome in order for you to secure an amazing future ahead. To uncuff your life today, visit our website. I am the owner of Thrive Ministries. Uh, my ministry is really about teaching women how to live free from their past, water their present situation, and watch their future grow. And um, I talk about the two things that most women shy away from and two things that you don't hear a whole lot about in the church, sex and money. Uh, and I do that through um, online uh, blogging, writing, and my latest project is my book. So what drove you to talk about such taboo topics? I'm sure you had a lot of pushback. I, d I had some pushback, yes I did. But what drove me to talk about these topics was when I looked around uh, the church, I didn't see a whole lot of people talking about these topics uh, on the local level. And you do have some big name players to talk about finances and you can find a lot of really good solid information about biblical finances on the internet. But one thing that you cannot find a lot of is good solid information on biblical sexuality. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at my past and what I had been through and what I had been through with my husband um, together we really kind of learned on our own. Um, and so I really decided that there needed to be a place where people could ask questions mm. and get some good biblical answers on questions, especially about sex that people are asking, but not very many people are answering. When I look around, especially for our youth living in the world today, the world is screaming about sex, but the church is very silent and this poses a great risk. Be sure to follow me at CapriSmith.com and as always, Caprice Lives Uncuffed on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all over Google. Caprice Lives Uncuffed, hashtag Uncuffed.